and welcome to Idea Lab. Today we're with William Urey, who is the co-founder of the Harvard Negotiation Project and author of the upcoming book, Getting to Yes with Yourself. Thanks for joining us today. It's a real pleasure, Chris. Tell us a little bit about the book and why you decided to write it and what your sort of goal was in, in penning this. Yeah, well, three decades ago, I had the great privilege and honor of writing with Roger Fisher, uh, my colleague mentor, uh, a book called Getting to Yes, which I think changed the way people thought about negotiation because at, at that point it was kind of adversarial, it was kind of win-lose, and books, the book titles were things like Winning by Intimidation and Looking Out for Number One, and Getting to Yes suggested no. There's a better way to negotiate, which is a way in which we can look for mutual gains, uh, in, in which we can get to a so-called win-win. But over the years, it's, I've kind of had a gradual realization actually that perhaps the biggest obstacle to us getting what we really want in life and in negotiation is actually not the other side, however difficult they can be. It's actually right here. It's ourselves. What was, the, what was your aha moment when you realized that that was sort of the biggest roadblock in a lot of negotiation is the person on this side of the table? Well, I got involved in some very serious kind of even international negotiations. I was involved, for example, as a third party uh, in the country of Venezuela between the political opposition and the then president, Hugo Chavez. At midnight, we're ushered in to see the president. I expect to find him all alone. He's got his entire cabinet arrayed behind him. He says, here, take, take, a, take a seat uh, and tell me, how, what do you think of the situation here? How do you think it's going? And I said, well, Mr. President, I've been talking to your ministers here. I've been talking to the opposition. I think you're making some progress. Progress? What do you mean, progress? You're blind. You're a fool. You're not seeing all the dirty tricks those traders are up to. And he proceeded to lean in very close to my face and yell for approximately 30 minutes. But somehow I was able to go to the balcony in that moment, which is to go to a, a mental and emotional place of detachment a little bit, like you're negotiating on a stage and part of your mind goes to a balcony. And I was able to ask myself the question, wait a minute, is it going to really be in my interest to get into an argument with the president of Venezuela? Is that really in advance my interest? And so I was able just to kind of like bite my tongue and just listen, really truly listen to him. And sure enough, after 30 minutes, a guy who could go on for eight hours if he needed, you know, there was no reaction. So I saw his shoulders sink and in a kind of weary tone of voice, he said to me, so Yuri, what should we do? And at that point, you know, the mind opened and the mood shifted and I was able to get to yes with him. Why? Because I would gotten to yes with myself first. What are the reasons why an entrepreneur would be interested in doing some of the techniques that you recommend, considering that they've had so much success doing things the way they've always done right. them, which is full steam ahead, ex only really viewing things from the external point of view and rarely looking inside? Well, let me just say this. There's nothing, as an entrepreneur, there's nothing you should do. And there's nothing, I'm not saying you need to do this. I'm saying you have a choice. You could do this. And if you do this, it will help you in the next step. Because you know the skills that brought you to, to, to this stage, you may need a different set of skills to go to the next stage of growing a very large company, governing a large company, going to an exit strategy, going to the board. And, and what's going to allow you to grow this thing beyond the startup phase? And for that, the inner skills, the getting to yes with yourself, is an essential prerequisite to being able to get to yes with others in your life. The motto in negotiation is if you want to go fast, sometimes you have to go slow. <laughs>